Hello everyone, this is Randy. So previously I've made a procedural cost tiering effect on Suzanne. I also made another visual effects animation. Both of them use the very similar principle, but today I'm going to mainly talk about the cost tiering effect and potentially you can get some idea of another one. I'm going to use the preset I built for myself. You can download them for free from the link in the description. So let's start. So here we in Blender, actually the animation is very, very simple. So we create a Suzanne, okay, and uh, within geometry nodes, let's just uh, subdivision surfaces. And what do we need to do? Uh, maybe two times should be enough. What do we need to do is really just uh, a delete geometry. So basically, all the kind of principles have been explained in the past by other tutorialists using modifiers. So the only nothing is really new. It's just that you use a different tool. Instead of you use modifier, you use the geometry nodes. So instead of using the mask modifier, where's my, where's my mask modifier? So instead of using the mask modifier, you use delete geometry. That's almost all about it. So here I'm going to take a preset which is called a noise 3D. And you plug the factor into selection and then you're deleting the part which is being covered by this white noise. Okay. Um, Actually, this is almost there. So you just uh, increase the frequency, you delete some of the faces, and then you take a smooth modifier. So you increase the repeat so that it becomes more kind of organic. You can also increase the factor. So whatever, however you change that, just try a parameter that you like. Uh, and then I'm going to animate it. So there are several important parts e I want to mention is the noise created from this noise texture. Um, technically speaking, it should be from zero to one, but it's not really consistent from zero to one all the time in all situations. So we need to normalize that. I'm going to take a node, which is called a normalizer field. So you plug the geometry and you plug the value. So no matter how this noise is being changed, the value output must be from zero to one. So lo the lowest value must be zero, the maximum value must be one. So this is idea. And here let's take a float compare. Take the values and plug that to the result. So here by animating this effect, we're having this organic disappearing effect that you see. Here, if we're not using a preset, it may increase like two to three nodes um, because this is a pretty simple setup. Since these are provided for free, you can investigate by your own about how they are being built, what they are doing exactly. But I'm not going to cover that things for efficiency. Uh, we basically completed the animation, but uh, just uh, by playing with these values, it's not uh, it's good, but uh, something's missing. Okay, so we are going to add a little bit more effects on the top of that. So basically the idea is I need a displacement modifier. So to create a displacement modifier, you use a set of position. Here I already created a preset, which is for shootcon function, which is just a normal displacement. And you can see the system becomes very fat um, by playing this displacement value. So here let's take a value node and plug that to compare and let's remap that. We know this B value goes from zero to one because we remap or we normalized this noise. And uh, within this map range, let's reset that to zero to 0.4. So that if I play these values, you can see the Suzanne becomes a fat and it starts to disappear. Okay. So this is what we are seeing. You can play around all these kind of values. If you play a faster animation, then you just, this is how it looks. Okay. And if you would like to add a little bit more effect, then you just add some noise, set the position. Let's take a, uh, we can use the same noise really, or you can just duplicate one. It does not really matter. It's just a single node. You place the colors into the offset. Uh, let's decrease the frequency low. Maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.2. And uh, 
by playing with this evolution then you can see the Susan is being wiggled so you can play around with these parameters and then you have the animation uh, that's basically how I build that so I basically will just stop here because this is I want to keep this tutorial as basic as possible so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll probably see you next time bye bye